Hello everyone, I am Harshita and today we will see how we can assign a rows to the user and a data access set in account receivable and we will also see how to open a pair in the account receivable. Here are some rules which are seeded rules in the Oracle Fusion which we need to assign to the user. Uh, they are account receivable manager, account receivable specialist, billing manager, billing specialist and revenue analyst. These are some roles which we need to assign to the user. And after assigning roles to the user, we assign a data access for user. Here we define user ability to access or retrieve data stored within a database or other repository. Here we will go to a task name as data access for user in the instance and provide user with the role security context and security context value. And what is security context? It is the level at which you want to enforce the security. Fine. After assigning the role and data access for user, we run a job named as LDAP job to synchronize the role with the user. Then after uh, performing all the steps, we open period in the account receivable for recording and processing the transaction. Without opening a period in the receivable, you cannot record or process the transaction here. So now we will go to the instance and see how we can perform all the steps there. So moving to the instance. Now to assign the role, go to navigator. Under tools. Go to security console. Now here go to users. Search for the user to which you need to assign the roles. Then edit. And you can see that add role is coming, just click here. And here, search for the role one by one, like accounts ma uh, receivable manager, account receivable specialist, billing manager, billing specialist, and revenue analyst. Search for this role here one by one and add role. And after assigning all the roles, say done. I'm not assigning any role because I have already assigned these roles to my user. You can see that. If I show you, you can see that here, account receivable manager is coming. Fine. In the same manner, if I scroll down a little bit down, other roles are also assigned to this user. See, there are many roles I have already assigned, including the AR role. So I'm not assigning it again. You can assign all the roles which we have discussed. And after assigning all that role, just go to save and close. This is not activated right now, but when you will add role, it will get activated. Just save and close the scene and it is done. Fine. Right now I'm canceling it because I have already assigned the roles. Say done. So this is the first step to assign the roles. Now, after assigning the roles, go back to the project and search for the task name as data access for user, and we will assign a data access to the user. So for that, go to setup and maintenance. Manage implementation project. Search for your project. And search for the task, data, access, for user. Data access for user. Manage data access for user, go to task. Now here to add, click on this add icon. And here give your username. 
like minus kc. I'm selecting that user. Give a role one by one, like accounts. Receivable manager is coming, give that. Give the security contacts as business unit. And attach your business unit here. Fine. In a similar manner, click on this add icon to add all the rules. And in, a, in this manner, we will add one by one all the rules which we have assigned to the user. Fine. And after assigning all the rules, just click on save and close and you are done with the data access. I'm not repeating all that thing because I have already done the steps in my instance. Fine. So this is how you can uh, give the data access for user and after saving and closing it, it is prepared. Fine. After doing this two step, you need to go to the navigator again. Tools. Under tools, go to schedule process. Schedule new process. Find the job name is LDAP. Select us, retrieve latest LDAP uh, changes and say OK. Fine. It synchronizes the user roles and role grants with definition in LDAP and say OK. And submit. When you will submit, you can see that here process will start running and after that you can just refresh and wait for the status to become succeeded. Once it is succeeded, when you will see in the navigator, you can see that after all the steps, here receivable will be added with all this information under it billing, account receivable, revenue, and funds capture. This will occur only when you will assign the role to the user and assign data access for user and run the LDAP job. So this will be available fine after all the steps. So that's why these steps are mandatory so that receivable dashboard is available to you to perform the account receivable task. Fine, after all this thing, after assigning the role data access for user and running LDAP, you need to open a period. For opening a period, you can just go to general accounting period close. Fine, here you can see that receivable is coming. The status is open because I have already opened it. But when you are doing it for the first time, it will it will come as never opened. Like in the asset, it is coming never opened. In the same manner, in under receivable also never opened will be the status. Fine. So before moving to that, you should you should first ensure that the ledger which is coming here is the ledger which you want is your ledger only. Fine. After verifying it, just go to receivable. When you will click this, a page will open and it will ask for the first period which you want to open. Just select that and after that, you can see that first period will be open. And for opening another period or opening to any target period, you can just go to actions and open target period here and give a target period which you want to open. What happens? It will open all the period till the target period. Like if you are giving target period it as like May, 
and today is 17 March and you are given target period as May, then it will open a period March, April and May directly. You don't need to open one by one each period. Fine. So this, this is how you can open a target period. And if you want to close any period, you can just select that period. This tab will get activated. Of uh, wait a second. This tab will get uh, actually this period was not open. It was in future entryable. That's why this closing or uh, pending is not become activated on our close period become activated here. So if you will click on any period which is open, the status is for open. Then you can see that this two tab has been activated. You can just go to close period and you can close the same. Fine. So this is how you can open close a period in the receivable. So this was all about the topic. Thank you.